There's been quite a lot of frustration in DRC over these elections. Uh, what's the atmosphere like? Well, yesterday uh, in Kinshasa, the capital, um, it was, uh, as your report just said, uh, voting uh, passed off in a reasonably calm, uh, calm way. But there were big problems. You know, a lot of the polling stations opened very, very late. In certain opposition areas, they opened hours late. In other areas, they were closed while there were still many, many people who wanted to vote. However, none of this really um, escalated into uh, anything violent. There was one case where one polling station was ransacked because it just never opened. Um, and now people are just uh, sort of tensely and nervously waiting uh, for the results process to uh, get going. Well, the, the next uh, leader will be stepping into the shoes of President Joseph Kabila, who has been in power for 17 years. What kind of challenges will the next leader face? Well, there are, there are a lot of challenges. There are many and they're serious. But if the next president is Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari, he is running with Kabila's blessing as Kabila's can, can, uh, continuity candidate. So uprooting the system will certainly not be on the agenda. If it is uh, Martin Fayulu or Felix Shisekedi, well, they'll be replacing a 20-year dynasty because Kabila's father was president before him. And uh, it'll be uh, Congo's first ever transition of power via the ballot box. And um, getting control of the security apparatus will be really, really difficult because uh, all the men who lead those um, uh, parts of the state are put there by Kabila. And also, Congo is one of the poorest countries in the world. It has enormous security problems with over 100 militias operating in the east. And beyond that, it has a massive uh, health problem on its hand at the moment because it's trying to combat the second biggest uh, outbreak of Ebola virus uh, in the world. So uh, the honeymoon period for whoever is the next period, uh, the honeymoon period for whoever is the next president would be, uh, be very short.